Margaret Altoff Olivas, Director of Public Affairs at University Medical Center in El Paso, says the hospital will save money by not hiring smokers starting this October. Uh, the Centers for Disease Control um, maintains the, uh, a certain data bank and they have uh, determined that em employees uh, who smoke cost their employer uh, $3,400 a year in uh, higher health costs and lost work time. In the competitive health care industry, she also says the hospital will not have difficulty finding applicants that don't use tobacco. While some organizations have nursing vacancies, uh, we have a waiting list. Of the more than 2,300 employees that work here at University Medical Center, 221 currently smoke. But Altaf Oliva says those employees will be offered smoker cessation classes and they won't be fired if they don't quit. This is just another step in our efforts to help our workforce lead healthier lifestyles. May I have a pack of Camel Crush, please? Down the street from the hospital yeah. at a corner grocery store, David Deonda buys a pack of cigarettes. Although he's not trying to get a job at the hospital, he feels the policy isn't fair. If I'm well qualified for the job and it's just because I smoke, I don't want to be like, like not hired because of it. Uh, you've chosen to smoke and we've chosen not to hire you says Altoff Olivas, which might sound harsh, but she knows firsthand how difficult it is to quit. She smokes since she was 13 and is taking a smoking cessation class at the request of her son and mother. We feel guilty sometimes about what we do to others. So I'm going to give it a good shot, and I hope it works. And if it does, I will be a very happy camper, and I will make many others very happy. She hopes other hospital employees who smoke will take the class with her. How can you be a healthcare organization and go into your patient's room and say, you know, you need to quit smoking when you yourself smell like cigarettes? Because she believes the new policy isn't about saving money or punishing smokers. The bottom line on all of this is because we care about our associates and their families because smoking affects the entire family. We tried to contact the hospitals in Las Cruces to ask them if they were thinking of implementing a similar policy. Only Mesilla Valley Hospital could be reached for comment. Employees there said the hospital has no plans to implement a similar policy, but their campus is smoke-free. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.